Hey guys, so the Oscars were held on Sunday night and what a night it was. Unfortunately, I couldn't attend. I was otherwise engaged. Anywho, I'm thrilled with some of the winners. Some of my faves did not win. And yes, it's upsetting, but such is life. Okay, so for Best Actress in a Leading Role, the Oscar went to... Michelle Yeoh! Yo, guys, I was so excited for her. Oh, it has been a long time coming. Do you know she is the first Asian woman to win an Oscar for Best Actress in a Leading Role? Oh, so thrilled for her. Congratulations, Michelle! Best Actor in a Leading Role went to Brendan Fraser. If you watched my Oscar nominations video and my Elvis review, you will know how much I was rooting for Austin Butler to get Best Actor. So I was gutted that he didn't get it. But at the same time, I love Brendan Fraser and his comeback has just been amazing. So I can't help but be happy for him. So congratulations, Brendan. The Oscar for Best Actress in a Supporting Role went to Jamie Lee Curtis. A huge congratulations to Jamie Lee on her first Academy Award. But fam, can we talk? Um, can we be real? We can be real. Let's be real. Um, I'm not going to lie. My heart broke a little when I did not hear Angela Bassett's name being called. It broke a lot when I did not hear Angela Bassett's name being called. Oh, I was just... I was so, so rooting for her. So many of us were rooting for her and just hoping that she would finally get her Oscar. And when she didn't get it on Sunday night, I was just like... <sighs> and I don't want to take away from Jamie Lee Curtis's win. I thought she put on a brilliant performance in Everything Everywhere All at Once. <sighs> I just... I just wanted it to be Angela's time this time, you know? Especially since I feel like she was overlooked for Best Actress when she played Tina Turner in What's Love Got To Do With It. So this time I was like, come on, you've got to give it to her now, man. You know, I was reading some comments on posts about the Oscars on social media. <laughs> Bad idea. And they were saying how Angela looked bitter and envious because she didn't clap for Jamie Lee when she won the Oscar and she didn't give her a standing O like everyone else did. And I was just like, you know what? I know that Angela is an actress, but can she please be allowed to be authentic in that moment? Honestly, I wouldn't blame her for feeling upset or disappointed or hurt for being overlooked once again. I know it might have been the proper thing to do to clap and smile, but... If she was expressing how she felt in that moment, then so be it. Shout out to Michael B. Jordan for letting our auntie know that we still love her. Okay, moving on. Best actor in a supporting role went to... Ki Hui Kwan! Yay! <laughs> Elated. Thrilled for him. Oh, I might have shed a tear. Or two, or three. Because if you know what Ki Hui Kwan has been through to get to this point of winning an Oscar, oh, it's just, it's everything. Everywhere all at once. Ah! <laughs> the Oscar for visual effects went to Avatar The Way of Water, as expected. I was rooting for Top Gun Maverick, but they won Best Sound, so I'm glad they also got an Oscar. Then, costume design was won by Ruth Carter! Hey! She won for Black Panther 2 Wakanda Forever. 
four Oscars for the movie Carter and both for the two Black Panther movies. Love to see it. And then, the big one. Best picture went to everything, everywhere, all at once. Ah, oh, they were the big winners of the night. I think they won something like eight Oscars. Ridiculous. Honestly, uh, yeah, not surprised. I had predicted that it would either be them or the Fablements, and it turned out to be everything, everywhere, all at once. Congratulations to them. Well deserved. And those were some of the winners at this year's Oscars. If you want a full list of winners, you can go to oscars.org online. Or if you're in South Africa and you happen to have that paid channel, you can watch them on catch up.